Welcome to this uh, video on graphing FPOD data, which is actually one of the fun things about the app because it enables you to explore ideas very quickly. And um, we'll have a look at, at some real data here. So I've got two files open. Let's just have a look at um, the files page. So the top three panels are from uh, the Isles of Scilly, southwest of um, Cornwall, and uh, which is in the southwest of England. Um, and I've got three copies of the FP3 open. And then there's from a uh, data from Scomo, which is an island um, to the the um, the northeast uh, in the Bristol Channel. And um, the question here is how similar are these two so if we just uh, show from start we can see the the um the data so the, this one is going from june to um december and this one is going from uh, early october to um april the next year okay so to graph, you just hit the graph button. But first, you want to decide um, really what you want to to uh, to see. So on the display page, you can choose the graph. So what I've set up here is kilohertz, then number of clicks, the DL pattern that's through the the hours of the day, and the click rate, and the same thing for the other file. Okay, so we'll maybe just do it for just dolphins here, so that's other cetaceans. So both sites is probably most likely to be common dolphins. Um and away it goes. Um so this is SCOMA. Um it's got three point four million clicks showing up here. The the DL pattern is really strong, almost nothing in the middle of the day. But um, yeah, and the clicks per second, the peak is down at about 12. Um, the There's another peak up here at about 740. On the Isles of Scilly, those peaks are in the same place. The mode is at 12. Um, yeah, this one's pretty much the same. Um, and the DL pattern is very similar. There is a, a significant difference in the frequency distribution, so that, that's a bit interesting. Um, and we could just look at porpoises. Um, I will just show you, though, what I've done here is I've asked it. I've, normally, this is checked. Use one hour bins for DL graphs. So Let's go back to the default there, and this is porpoises. Okay, so SCOMA, it's giving us a modal frequency of 120 kilohertz. Rather different DL distribution with a big sort of evening peak. Um, it is lower in the day, but not quite as drastically reduced. The click rate, the mode is um, is much higher. It was 12 here, 17 or 23 on the, the Isles of Scilly. Okay, so these these are actually very typical um, values for these two species. And maybe you'd think, well, those are nice graphs, but actually I want to display them differently. So on the display page, you can do put graph and autocorrelation function values and results so uh, they will already be there from our previous two <laughs> efforts so there's quite a lot a lot here but basically you can just take this out um yeah and there's some previous stuff i was doing so basically what i would do there is clear it all and um just do the graphing again and it will put those um, the numbers that uh, define the graphs 
into the results. You can drop them into a spreadsheet there and then graph them any way you like. So this was graphing low resolution data. You could, um, let's just check. Yeah, here they are. So you can see how that's going to turn out. Yeah. Um, the, the graphing function is also very useful, actually, when you're looking at, at high resolution. So um, OK, here's a um, porpoise click trains. Um, and typically, you, you know, you, you might want to see um, from this killer, it's the you won't get a DL pattern, obviously, but the number of cycles might be useful and the click rate. Um, the number of cycles, yeah, okay. So here it's, it's giving the click rate, the uh, frequency profile, which is kind of interesting that it's got a bit of a notch there. So is that two different individuals with slightly different frequencies or something else. The modal duration, the number of cycles in a click is eight, which is quite high. And that's the click rate, which is quite lumpy, you know, because you've just got a few trains. And if we skip along to find something in the, um, oh, so go show from the start in the, the other file. Um, and we can do graph again. Yeah, so you get the idea. You 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 can pick whatever is going to be useful to you um, to display and set that up here. And you can put the results, the the values in results if you want to graph it in some other uh, software like a spreadsheet. Okay, it, it's a, a very useful function. I use it a lot in low res and high res, so uh, I I do encourage you to use it. Okay, thanks for your attention.